welcome to our channel in this video we are going to discuss the experimental topic of pharmacognosy and phytochemistry too that is uh, separation of sugar by paper chromatography method before heading to this experiment let us discuss that what is chromatography and paper chromatography so what is chromatography and definition of chromatography chromatography is a physical method of separation mainly what is chromatography it is a separation method what separation method it is a physical method of separation in which components is separated in two phases in which components is separated in two phases that is stationary phase stationary phase and mobile phase so what is chromatography chromatography is a physical method of separation in which separation is done in stationary phase and mobile phase i mean components are separated in two phases that is stationary phase and mobile phase no what does the stationary phase and mobile phase mean stationary phase the name only indicates stationary means it is immovable phase immovable phase mobile phase the components will move in this phase mobile phase is movable phase movable phase the components will move in this phase depending upon the stationary phase and mobile phase the chromatography is uh, divided into various types depending upon the uh, like uh, mobile phase and uh, stationary phase mobile phase stationary phase type of chromatography example so depending upon the uh, mobile phase and stationary phase the chromatography is divided into various types first if mobile phase is liquid and stationary phase is solid we call this type of chromatography as liquid solid chromatography if mobile phase is liquid and stationary phase is solid we call this type of uh, chromatography as liquid solid chromatography example for this chromatography are thin layer chromatography high performance thin layer chromatography second condition if mobile phase is liquid and even stationary phase is also liquid we call this type of chromatography as liquid liquid chromatography the best example for liquid liquid type of chromatography is paper chromatography paper chromatography third condition if mobile phase is gas and stationary phase is solid we call this type of chromatography as gas solid chromatography fourth condition if mo mobile phase is gas stationary phase is liquid we call this type of chromatography as a gas liquid chromatography gas liquid chromatography so depending upon the like based on mobile mobile phase and stationary phase the chromatography divided into uh, four types that is if uh, mobile phase is liquid and stationary phase is solid we call this type of uh, uh, chromatography as liquid solid chromatography example is thin layer chromatography hptlc that is high performance thin layer chromatography if mobile phase is liquid and if stationary phase is also liquid we call this type of chromatography as liquid liquid chromatography example is paper chromatography if mobile phase is gas and stationary phase is solid we call this type of chromatography as gas solid chromatography if mobile phase is gas and stationary phase is liquid we call this type of chromatography as gas liquid chromatography now we call that uh, paper chromatography example uh, like uh, li for liquid liquid chromatography uh, the best example is paper chromatography why it is called like uh, liquid liquid chromatography so
paper chromatography is called liquid liquid chromatography why it is called liquid liquid chromatography though the name suggests that is paper chromatography we call this type of chromatography as liquid liquid chromatography why because there are two phases that is mobile phase and stationary phase so the mobile phase used here is liquid liquid or solvent liquid or solvent the solvent is prepared in the ratio of uh, 4 is to 1 is to 5 the components of this solvent are n butanol is to acetic acid is to water so using n butanol acetic acid and water the solvent is prepared in the ratio of 4 is to 1 is to 5 so this is mobile phase now let's come to stationary phase in stationary phase what means paper is used in stationary phase what means paper is used though the paper is solid uh, solid material we call the stationary phase as liquid because why the what means paper is made up of cellulose which has the capability to hold water because the Wattman's paper is made up of cellulose which has the capability to hold water so we call the stationary phase as liquid though paper is a solid material we call uh, this phase as a, like stationary phase as liquid because why the Wattman's paper is made up of cellulose which has the capability to hold water in it. So now let us see different types of paper chromatography. Uh, the different types of paper chromatography is uh, like they are classified according to their affinity. Different types of paper chromatography. First type is ascending ascending paper chromatography descending paper chromatography both ascending and descending paper chromatography radial chromatography radial paper chromatography two dimensional paper chromatography chromatography so paper chromatography is divided into ascending paper chromatography descending paper chromatography ascending and descending type of paper chromatography radial paper chromatography two dimensional paper chromatography now let us see how to perform the separation of sugar by paper chromatography method requirements needed to perform this experiment are chromatography chamber with thread Wattman's paper three capillary tubes and three different types of sugar solution draw a line with a pencil along with the width of the paper on a bench about 1.5 to 2 cm draw a line with along this line place three spots at equally distance with the pencil Use a fine capillary tube to place the drops of the solution of sugar on three different spots. In which two sugar solution sample is known and one sugar sample is unknown.
after spotting dry the paper with hot air oven for 1 minute place the paper inside the chromatography chamber and close the tank with the lid allow the solvent to flow for about 30 to 45 minutes After 30 to 45 minutes, take out the paper and allow to dry for few minutes. After drying, spray the detecting agent. The detecting agent used here is concentrated HCl with isocyanol. After spraying, put the paper inside the hot air oven and allow it to dry for few minutes. After Thank you for watching.